All right, so let's talk about a price of a bond. Uh, bonds are, of course, essentially an IOU, an IOU, which is essentially one party lending another party an amount of money and expecting a, a percentage, a fixed rate of percentage return on that loaned money. So let's say that I have a, a company that's selling a bond, and this company, we're going to call this company um, company X, company, company X, and company X is selling a bond, a thousand dollar bond, right? Thousand dollars. And this thousand dollar bond is going to pay ten percent, ten percent over the course of one year. All right. So if we make a little bit of a timeline, let's just say that this is the the year mark. Okay. And this is the original sale of the bond. And the price of the bond is $1,000. Well, if we look at this bond, we're going to pretend that it's paying us twice. It's going to pay us semi-annually. Okay, so it's going to pay us 10% total, but it's going to pay us twice. So essentially 5% here and 5% here. And so what this means is that this bond is going to effectively pay us $50 at the six-month mark and then another $50 at the year mark, in addition to the original $1,000 that we loaned to Company X. So let's just say that you buy this bond, right? And you buy this bond, and one minute after you buy this bond, that interest rates jump to 20%. The question is, what happens to the value of this bond that you have? What happens to the price of this bond? Well, let's think about it. Let's say that you wanted to sell this bond, right? Like you needed some liquidity, you needed your money back for whatever reason. And so you wanted to sell this bond to somebody else. Are they going to be willing to pay you $1,000 for this bond? And the answer is no. And the reason the answer is no is because essentially the price of this bond needs to be less right the price of this bond needs to be less than the original thousand dollars because effectively someone else could buy a bond from company X now and with prevailing interest rates receive a return of twenty percent so it should intuitively make sense that someone wouldn't be willing to spend that original thousand dollars and only receive a ten percent interest rate they know they can buy that same bond and receive twenty percent Okay, so what is the point here? The point is that as the interest rates rise on bonds, the price of the bond fall, as we saw here. As the interest rate jumped from 10 to 20%, my existing bond now is not worth as much. So the price of that bond falls. Okay, so maybe somebody gives you, without getting too crazy with the math, you know, $900 or $800 or something for that bond. And conversely, if interest rates fall, the price of existing bonds rise. For instance, let's say that one minute after you buy this bond, interest rates fall to 2%. Well, now you have a bond that's very valuable. You have a bond that's paying 10%, while everybody else can only earn 2%. Okay, so the price of a bond works inversely with interest rates, and that's something you need to know for this class. Okay, moving right along. I have a question for you. My question is this, you just won a million dollars in a lottery, and this is going to give you a million bucks in 10 years, and you're told you can take a lump sum payment today of $510,000, or just take this money in 10 years, what should you do? Okay, so we're going to assume that the interest rates, prevailing interest rates, will average 7% over the next 10 years. So the answer to this can be expressed mathematically. To do this, we use what's called the present value of future payment, or the method itself is called discounting. And discounting allows us to look at the present value of some future payment. So I get paid a million bucks in 10 years. What is that worth today if I could earn 7% interest in the market? So here's the formula for this. The formula is the present value is equal to x representing the sum of money divided by 1 plus the rate to the nth power.
Okay, so let's look at a couple examples. We're going to take the present value of $200 in 10 years in today's value. In other words, what will 200 bucks, if I was to fast forward 10 years, expressed as a value in today's value? All right, so I just plug in my numbers. I've got my $200. I'm going to divide that by 1.05 to the 10th power, and that gives me $123. $200 in 10 years at 5% interest is like $123 today. All right, how about at 8%? Well, again, just plug it in. 200 divided by 1.08 to the tenth power is equal to $93. So you can see that these numbers represent the value of $200 paid in 10 years at various interest rates. All right, so back to our question. We won the million dollar lottery. We're told we can collect a lump sum payment of $510,000 today. What should we do? So we're going to use 7% as our real interest rate on our investment return. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my calculator. I'm going to take 1 million, I'm going to divide it by 1.07 and then put in my exponent to the 10th power and the answer is going to be 508,349 dollars. So should I take the 510,000 dollars today? The answer is yes, I should because this value of a million dollars is worth $508,000 today. By taking the $510,000, I've actually seen a net profit. So again, we should take the $510,000 today instead of the million dollars over 10 years because we have a gain of just under $2,000.